Hey guys, how are y'all doing everybody? I'm doing fine, thank you very much. Welcome to a new uh, Let's Play uh, called Bear With Me. It's a, it's a little adventure, thriller, kind of slash horror, epic, epo, episodic, uh, episodic type of adventure game. About a girl trying to find her lost brother. So yeah. Um, I played a little bit of this just to get the gist of it. And yeah. So without further ado, I guess we could start the game. Okay. Exordium Game Presents. Bear with me. Like the name, bear with me. Nice pun. Yep. Oh, this is kind of creepy. Please wake up. Oh, okay. Getting right into it. We have to talk to good old Millie. Talk to her. It seems you had a nightmare. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I can handle nightmares. Yeah, but I can handle nightmares. Never mind that now, Millie. Oh no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, Miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. Uh, I think I can find my brother on my own. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. You know, let's play the tough guy. I think I can find my brother on my own, Millie. I don't really need Ted's help anymore. You're growing up so fast, little miss. But please reconsider. There is something else I have to warn you about. The reason I came all the way down here. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week. Ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city. Your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel. Bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Okay. 
Uh, I've slid through this little section before, and it's a little bit slow in the beginning, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, let's check this drawer. If I'm not mistaken, there's something in it that we can use. Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, one of Ted's magnifying glass. Uh, look at glasses. They belong to my mom. She must have forgotten them in here when she was cleaning. Okay, I guess we'll take them. I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. See the plant. Loose plant. Folium Cadent. When was the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right, I didn't. It's really hanging in there. Okay, let's, let's go check up on our, uh... Ugh. Oh. Did it die? I think it died. That's a shame. Let's go check out on our brother. Miss, don't go wandering around alone. Ah, uh, Wano. Guess we have no other choice but to check a uh, teddy bear. Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. Fell on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz, and I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does, and I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually I give in. We've done this so many times I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head, and then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way, or is it the booze that makes me calm? Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Hi Ted, I heard you've retired, but- Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. Your bad news, doll, always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? I was already in bed. I was in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, you should ask her to help you out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? That old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some real work to do. Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, um, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead, um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll, I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some 
tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. <laughs> you owe me rent. How about I just keep pretending your office isn't in my closet and you actually owe me rent? That was kind of a cheap shot, doll. But I guess nothing ever comes for free. What's this nonsense all about, anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like, all sorts of bad things. And there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie. The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route. But I think that's been closed off, too. They? Millie and the Paper Orchestra. Millie and the pa city Paper City's Paper Mache Association. Uh, uh, very much. Uh, ooh. I don't know. I think I want to go with this one. Um, yeah, Millie and the Paper City Paper Mache Association. They thought they could practice their, um, macheing here in the woods since their place burned down. Boy, that place must have burned down fast. Am I right? Wait. I never heard of any paper mache association down in the city. Are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. I mean, what's not to like? The fact that they're thieves and thugs? They literally stole a candy from a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel, the one that leads to Flint's room, and she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Hey, I'll have you know there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. My brother. The left shoe, your nose, your head. I want to. I want to see what happens if I see my brother. My brother? No. Well, yeah, but something else too. Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. I'm sorry, your assistant. You know what I mean. Now get cracking. Lucky for you, we already have it. Uh. Oh, it's broken. Uh. Oh, I could find it with this. Do what with it? What? Are you even trying? Don't sass me. Oh. I broke my mom's glasses. I better find use for this lens now. There we go, and then you put it here? This Where won't you... hold. I need some sort of- Oh, adhesive. God. We all for adhesive. I really feel like I don't own enough shoes. And no, it's not a stereotype. It's just a fact. Cool. I got this for Flint, with my own money. 
It's some guardian superhero dude. Very bleak and depressing story art. Product placement! Are you talking about Guardians of the Galaxy? Huh. What? Those must be Ted's. It's my field hockey mask. My friend Jason wants to borrow it. As far as I'm concerned, he can have it. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I see what you did there. Okay. Uh, let's check the clothes. These are my clothes. The colors are more on the bright side, but I can't help it. I love vivid colors. Okay. Well, we don't have to check everything. Uh, ooh, bottle? Left there for research purposes. Ah, sticky glue. It says on the bottom, now made without the use of horses. Horses? Is that something that should be specified? Did they make glue from horses? Uh, okay. I bet this glue will be useful. Better take it with me. And then we use the glue. Use the glue on this. I don't think we so. Use the glue on this. There we go. There we go. There we Voila! A perfect crime. Ted will never there know. There you go. And then... Uh... Talk to Ted. Found my magnifier yet? Nope. Not yet. Do you really need it, though? Do you really need my help? Okay, Don't fair sass enough. me! I fixed your... thing. How do I give it to him? It's just Ted. He looks mad. If looks could kill, am I right? I fixed his magnifier. Look. I, I, I can't. There you go. That's not my magnifier. What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? No. This is my magnifier. With the lens missing. Which I'm sure you broke recently. You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kids' glue. That's preposterous. Never have I ever. Okay, never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. 